everyone welcome to my channel and um, today I just want to have a look at <clears throat> where do you start when you're a beginner It's interesting because uh, those that are familiar with the digital world can't remember when they were a beginner. But we've got lots of beginners, especially in our Facebook group. It's um, remarkable too for beginners. It's specifically for people who are just launching out into the deep, into the digital world. They've got themselves a remarkable and there's a huge learning curve, huge, hugely deep let me let me just go like this let's just check our new pencil case go black the learning curve you've just got your remarkable and you might be new to the digital world right you go here from zero to here, like you have to, the expectation is that you know everything that's going on so that you can function at this level. And the reality is that that's just not the case, okay? You actually need to give yourself time to go up and down. You learn something, you forget it. You learn something else, you forget it. You learn something else, you forget it. You gotta remember again. Like, that's the reality. And so, one of the cultures in our Facebook group that I'm very strong about is all questions are welcome. And no one, I don't want anyone not feeling like they can ask a question. Newbies, in this space especially once you start coordinating devices so let me just draw another picture this is how you add a page just in case you didn't know um you know in this day and age you may have um a computer like most people have a computer and a phone and a lot of people also have a tablet like, um, and that I'm using that word because it depends whether you're a Mac or a Samsung or, you know, sort of whichever version, Android is probably the more user-friendly term that we use. Um, so when you add in e-ink tablets now, um, and there's quite a few of them that you could add in, so let me just copy, paste, some people have several. I'm actually considering getting a few extras to try them out so that I can um, actually give, I'm gonna clear my clipboard because I always end up pasting and copying everywhere. <laughs> um, so you've got books, you've got Kindle, um, what's it called, Kindle? Oh can't remember ultra super note of course this first spot I've actually kept for our precious remarkable because this is what we love one or two I know people that are still using the number one I I don't I don't have the number one but they swear by it it's um still a very good machine once you start now like for me I've got an old phone and a new phone right I've got an old tablet and a new tablet a new one uh, excuse me iPad so I'm, an, I'm a Mac user um, and I've actually I need to get the new iPad Pro with the M I think it's the M2 chip because I want to start editing my videos on that using um, uh, Final Cut Pro and uh, and my Mac my iPad is very old. Mine mine is the second generation. <laughs> so it's five years old or whatever. Um, 
So I actually want to get another one, right? So that's the M2 version. Um, it'll probably be in the next 12 months, but that gives me three, right? Because I this one I use just for like personal uses. This is one I use for work. I'll use that for work. I've got to think about what to do with this one. Um, I've got, I actually only have one of one computer right now. I would like a desktop, but it's not urgent or anything like that. But some people have got a laptop and a computer. So let, let's, one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly seven. Let's add it up. Then you get this into the mix, okay? And, and just say you had two for some reason, eight, nine. I mean, the devices go on. I mean, I don't know if anyone's still got iPods. I don't know if they're still a thing. I don't use an iPod because really I think our phones and, and all of these have, have catered well for us in that space. But um, organising a system in all of this, I mean, it's not for the faint-hearted, <laughs> is it? So having said that, that's the reason why I think, um, especially when you're using the, this whole deal, when you've got work, and then you've got personal, right? You need a good system. I mean, it's so easy to feel overwhelmed, like it's out of control, if you don't have a good system to coordinate everything. Because they're all your devices. What about all your apps? Okay, I mean, like, I was actually just thinking through for myself what I love to use and what I what I currently use, right? Um, even over in the iPhone space, we've got, um, I use Notes a lot. And then there's the, you know, the calendar and email. I should have put them in gray. That would have been better, but that's okay. You can't highlight and change color like you can on Good Notes but that's fine. So once you get the machinery understood and how you're connecting all the machinery, and now it's so great. I mean, I would just say, I remember the days when you could not have a document on your computer and read it on your phone. I remember those days. Um, anyway, I digress. So understanding, once you've coordinated all of this, and now because of the cloud and and um, all of the Windows situation, we get to have integrations, which is so important. But as a newbie, this is what's important. I think these are just sort of four things to consider for you. Um, consider your filing system. And look, my suggestion to you is to have a look at the big areas in your life. Um, let me just insert a page after this. So let's just fast forward this bit. These are just some suggested areas for your life. We use this sort of stuff in life coaching. Um, but either way, it's just the big picture view of your life. Um, and when, once you've decided, whoops, go back. Once you've decided what your big areas are, you can understand what your uh, folder structure is. And then under work, you've also got a folder structure, right? And then within each one of those, you might have a folder structure. And so um, that's how I think. First of all, there's the big picture, then you've got, then underneath of that. And in a filing system, make sure you come up with a naming convention that you're happy with. It makes life so much easier when you decide to, um, you might have files and you might put W at the end of, at the end of them, you know, um, if they're going to hang around in a main area, then you might want to, you know, abbreviate using those abbreviations. You might, you might not, you might, once you get in here, these, this is area A, B, C, and you might use those letters to then name um, at the end of a, a, a file. You may use dates. I use a lot of abbreviations. Um, just find a naming convention that works for you, that means something to you. Not anyone else, but something to you. Okay, um, create yourself a little picture of your all of your devices, if that helps you. 
Um, I, I'm a very visual person, obviously. <laughs> and so I organize myself and my thinking because we actually think in pictures. We don't think in words. So for me, I like to create myself a picture and then it's done. I know exactly what's going on. So make yourself a little picture of, of your devices so that you understand what it is that's all connecting up. Then work out how it is you ske you're scheduling yourself and um, because that's really important. That's the action part of getting organised, right? And then there's all the apps that you could possibly use. Um, I'm currently learning Notion. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, it is just amazing. Does anyone remember Access? Access. When the sw first suite of Microsoft came out, there was um, Word, Publisher, Excel, um, uh, PowerPoint and Access. And I remember loving Access, but it's so powerful and so complicated and it used a lot of databases. And so I tried to use it and make up all the like, drop down lists and, you know, all sorts of check boxes. And oh, I love all that stuff. I love forms. Um, but uh, for obviously for what I needed it for back then, I, I didn't end up using it in all, in all of its fullness. So, um, but Notion reminds me a lot of access. It's fantastic. Okay, getting back to it what system how do you actually put structure into all the things that you want i love the getting things done and i'm just discovering para um tiago um i can't think of his surname um uh, forgive me if that's the wrong name this is fantastic the para system is amazing so I'm using those to build organization into my day and week and year. So that's basically it. The four big areas for you is think about your filing system. Think about the equipment, you know, create yourself a little picture in your mind if that helps. Think about how you're scheduling. And, you know, the good thing is that once you decide, um, this is the new pencil case that they've created. They've got it all in one here, the stroke, the color, and the types of pens that you use. And, and they've sort of changed the eraser um, pencil case too to make it look really cool. Um, anyway, once you've decided how you're scheduling, you'd be amazed how much more organized you feel, how much less stress it is once you know that's where I do my calendar scheduling. This is the email browser, uh, email I'm using. This is the internet browser I'm using. Um, I've got all my favorites saved in here and my bookmarks and my folders structure in my browsers all sorted. And this is the, um, these apps I'm using so that I can do, um, I mean, like I basically have used all of these and so was probably left wanting a complete package, which is why I love Notion. I will be making some Notion products and some Notion um, YouTube videos, some tutorials. It won't be now. It will be more towards the end of the year, maybe even next year, because I've got a lot on my plate right now. Um, updating all the planners and for next year and doing, um, I've got a few projects on the go. I'm creating a course to show you how to make your own templates as a solopreneur. Um, so, and this is sort of where I come from. I mean, really, um, I can relate to, I am a solopreneur and I understand that you want to make your own stuff. You've got to run your own business. You've got all the things to coordinate, right? So it's really important that we have a streamlined way to go about that. So that is a summary of how you can start out getting organized. I hope that's helpful. I'd love, uh, some love on the channel would be great. Um, a uh, thumbs up, a like. Uh, thanks for listening and watching and um, I hope to see you in the next video.